Three, two, one. Eat what you kill. Hey, Hunt Chef Nation, you're looking at one proud dad right here. This is my youngest daughter, Chloe's first ever whitetail harvest. This is the liver. Now I know everybody out there is like, ah, liver and onions. But I'm telling you, you stick with us, watch this one the whole way through as we make the mashed potatoes. We got these hen of the woods mushrooms and the 10 ring grill rub is gonna change your perception of whitetail venison, liver and onions. My grandma made it and I like hid in the closet every time that the word liver was even mentioned, even though she made it with homemade noodles or homemade mashed potatoes are all fantastic. But the liver, I just could never get past. So what I want to share with you guys today is we've taken this entire venison liver. We salt water brined it in the fridge for nine days. And what that did is pulled a lot of that blood, a lot of that iron, a lot of that iodine kind of taste out of it. So this venison liver, um, you can see <laughs> had some significant trauma from a courtesy of a rage broadhead there but otherwise beautiful. And when we flip it over, you can see these big um, blood vessels that run through this guy, a little bit of connective tissue. And then on the backside, we got this small piece here, some fat. And what we wanna do is start to clean this guy up and we can save pieces like this for sausage. Today, what we wanna do is get really nice cutlets and fillets out. So we're gonna get right under this tissue right here and we're going to slice it all the way down and around and then we're going to try and follow that blood vessel if you've ever liver shot a deer before you know how they can bleed and typically on liver shot they bleed internally it's almost always a fatal hit as it was for this deer it didn't go 50 yards and piled up and that was that again you can see the big vessels in there what we want to do is follow this one all the way through to here see how that opens up to that big chamber on the interior and we're going to come back up around this side remove a little bit more of that try not to take too much flesh but again that goes great in the sausage pile or for jerky now i feel like we've cleaned up just about enough of the connective tissue around all these arteries and veins and so we have a beautiful liver cutlet that is going to be eating as tender as possible. So where we're at here. Up here is we're slicing banana peppers to caramelize and cook with our sweet onions to give us more flavor and a little bit of heat to our liver dish here today. Now you can open these guys up and pull the seeds out. The seeds hold a lot of that heat. We want some heat today, but again, all these dishes, try them, make them your own. We're gonna get these onions and the banana peppers in this cast iron skillet and start them on that slow roll to that golden brown caramelized deliciousness. You can see you got a well seasoned pan here. So a big load of julienne onions going in. Oh yeah. You can't have liver without onions, at least not in Western Pennsylvania. Mmm, these guys smell good already. So now we're gonna add our banana peppers in with our onions. You can see they're starting to caramelize, get that golden color, bringing out that sweetness, building those layers of flavor. And now these guys, again, we kept the seeds in them. So it's gonna bring some heat here to our liver and onion dish today, just like that. Now we're gonna stir these guys up 
let them start to soften, let them start to color, and the onions will get even further long. Then we're gonna come in with our garlic chips and let these onions finish making their magic. So Hen of the Woods mushrooms are some of my absolute favorite. And this time of fall here in Southwest Pennsylvania, you can find great big giant clusters of these guys. And I like pulling them into strips like this. And then what we're gonna do is saute these in butter, get them started. We're gonna add in our asparagus and we're gonna make a delicious component to this liver and onions dish. I think these potatoes are done and ready to mash. Let's do a tester here. Oh yeah, perfection. We're gonna get these drained, dumped back in the pot, and we're gonna mash them up with some buttermilk, some whole butter, and some sea salt. Now we're gonna start our gravy, our bourbon coffee, creamy gravy with the bourbon into the pan. Burn off that alcohol, start to get it to reduce, to get the flavor. And we're releasing all that caramelization from the onions and the peppers and the garlic and bottom of the pan while we do this. Make sure we bring it all together, get every little bit out of there. Use that boiling liquid to scrape the bottom and release all that caramelization, all that goodness. All right, that was pretty quick. Now we're gonna add our black coffee. And we're gonna let this reduce down to a syrup. So don't tell anybody, but secret ingredient in this bourbon coffee, creamy gravy, is about that much light brown sugar. Now I said we're gonna reduce it to a syrup and we're just about there. And you can tell you need a good non-stick pan, a well-seasoned cast iron like this to get that reduction down to where it needs to be. Now, we're gonna reduce the heat a little bit, and we're gonna add our cream. Oh, heavy whipping cream. We don't need a ton. We just need to get a great richness and consistency out of this. And that's probably gonna be enough to let it cook for a little while till this gravy's done. So we've got some canola oil, and don't be too shy. We want a very shallow, light pan fry. So we've already done 10 ring on both sides. We've let it sit about a half an hour and let the flavors of the seasoning work into that meat. So there's no seasoning in the flour at all. We're gonna get these guys in here with one coat, let them sit for a minute or two while the oil gets good and hot. And then we are gonna pan fry ourselves some venison liver. All right, now it's time to pan fry. That oil looks right. Oh yeah, look at the sizzle right there. That's what I'm talking about. And we're laying them in here in a single layer. Gonna pan fry both sides and try to keep the interior right about medium. Try to keep the pieces from touching. Oh baby, look at that. We are on our way to Flavor Town right here. Now we're gonna kill the heat. Let that second side brown as beautifully as the top. Bring it over here to the paper towel to drain the excess oil off there. Now we're gonna start bringing this dish together. We've had a wild game throwdown once again here today in the Hunt Chef set. Hen of the Woods mushrooms, fresh asparagus, crispy bacon, the caramelized onions, and banana peppers all over top of that bourbon coffee gravy with the pan fried cutlets and grandma's mashed potatoes. Have a look at that. Feast your eyes on that. Make sure you never leave another liver in the woods again because I promise you that is nothing short of wild game perfection right there. You're watching Hunt Chef on Mountaintop Outdoors. Remember, always eat what you kill. Everybody knows I'm not a big liver and onions guy, but after all that we just put into this dish, I want to get a little bit of everything with a bite of liver. Got plenty of gravy. It's looking pretty right. Mmm, holy macaroni. Wow, no blood, no iodine, no mealy texture. That is the best liver I've ever had. Follow along recipes like this. Stick with us here at Hunt Chef Nation.